the majority of the chip carving on this plate that you see here was done with the number one cutting knife. But if you look closely, you'll see how the stab knife really adds some nice detail to this design. Look closely. Right there, there, those are stab marks done with the stab knife. Let me zoom in a little bit and we'll look a little closer at the rosette itself. Look right here. That's a stab mark as well as that. And inside these small rosettes there are four stab marks in the center of each rosette. So you can see that while 95 percent of this carving is done with the number one knife, your cutting knife, the stab knife adds those nice finishing touches. In this lesson we're going to look at how to use a stab knife properly and how to sharpen your stab knife. Using the stab knife properly is really quite easy. Hold the knife in the palm of your hand and curl your fingers around the handle. So you're holding it like you're going to stab something. That's why it's called the stab knife. So instead of a cutting motion, we will do a plunging motion into the surface of your wood. So I'm going to take the point of the stab knife and just plunge it into the wood to create the stab impression into the surface. That's all there is to it. Take it and push the stab knife down into the wood to create the impression. Let me show you a few designs and how you can use a stab knife to really touch those up. I've carved a couple of simple leaf patterns here. Now I can use the stab knife and really make these look finished and complete. See the difference? How about these two carved lines? Well, using the stab knife, let me show you what you can do with those. two lines become a very nice wheat-like pattern. And there I've taken my signature and added a star to the top of it. If I wanted to use a stab knife to make a cross, do the following. Put the big wide part of your stab knife on the outside of each impression. Using the same technique I did for the star only, turning my knife, stab knife, in the opposite direction. And there you have a cross rather than a star. So length of your stab impressions is determined by how much you rock down the back of the handle as you make your stab mark. You'll find that when you stab with the grain it's much easier to make a long impression than it is stabbing across the grain. 
I'm sure you'll find plenty of great uses for your stab knife. Experiment a little bit, practice, and see what fun uses you can make of this great tool in your chip carving. To sharpen your stab knife, we'll use the gray and the white ceramic stones. The gray is the medium stone that we'll start with. The white is the ultra-fine for polishing. When you look at the angle of the blade on the stab knife, you'll see that it's quite a steep angle. The reason being your stab knife, as I just showed you, crushes the fibers of the wood. It doesn't do a cutting motion, but rather it crushes the fibers to create a stab-like uh, impression into the wood. So this angle is quite steep, so as we sharpen it, we want to match the angle that we hold the knife at with the angle of the blade. So you can see that's about 30 degrees. I'll start on the medium stone, holding it up at about that angle, and just work back and forth. Now as I do this, I can feel how the knife is rubbing across the stone, whether I'm sitting flat on the blade or not. If it's tipped up too much, I can feel it digging in on the front, and if it's down too far in the back, I can feel it gliding across the back edge. So I adjust that up and down until I feel it sliding across the flat edge of the stab knife blade. And then I'll flip it over and do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to feel for the burr. Yeah, I can feel a little burr on that surface. And I'll go back to the other side once again. Now I'll work back and forth on this medium stone until I don't see any mill marks on the surface of my blade right along there. When you first get your stab knife, when it's brand new, you'll see mill marks from the factory. Using your medium stone, you can remove all the mill marks along the blade so it's perfectly shiny. You won't see any streaks going up the blade. So I'll work on the medium stone a little bit more until I'm ready to move to my polishing stone. The same technique applies with the polishing stone. Match up the angle of the stab knife blade with the surface of your stone and just work it back and forth. Okay, I just feel a slight burr on the underside edge. So I'm just going to go lightly back and forth until I don't feel any burr. And there it is. And you'll know your knife is, stab knife is good and sharp when you look at the surface of the blade, yeah, it looks like a mirror surface on both sides. And it will feel perfectly smooth to the touch. When your stab knife is sharpened, you'll only need to touch it up on a very rare occasion. You can go a long, long time without ever having to sharpen your stab knife once again. As always, if you have any questions, email me, marty, at mychipcarving.com, and be sure to check out the website for more information.